Yo, what's up? Joshua Casper here with another Ableton Live slash Max for Live tutorial. This one's going to be just on how to install the boatload of impulse response clips that I just found. I found literally hundreds of thousands of these things scattered over the web and uh, also some links from Ableton as well. Professionally recorded reverb emulations from different rooms with different types of material and different actual locations and it's just so dope i mean i've been in love with convolution reverb since it came with ableton live and to find out that they have these extension packs or expansion packs and some of them are free again links in the description but it's just amazing i highly suggest going to the post on my website because it explains a lot about what impulse re response clips are, a bit about convolution reverb, what it is and what it does and how it works. And also how, if you wanna make your own, there's a little bit of information there as well. But this video is about how to install the packs. So let's say you've gone and downloaded um, the packs that I, uh, from my blog, from my website, um, like the True M7. Uh, the question is how do you install it so the Convolution Reverb Pro will have it inside of its menu, okay? Uh, and, and when I come into this like rooms, then the sub menu works as well. So uh, the type would be the rooms and then what type of IR gonna work here. And the way to do that is quite simple, but only if you kind of know what's going on. So I've seen um, this question on some forums, I figured I'd show you how to do it. So what I've got here, is two file uh, browsers open here. And this is the downloaded file. And if I come into Documents, Ableton, Factory Packs, and then go to Max for Live Essentials. And by the way, if you don't have this and you have the Live 9 suite, you can go download it for free. It's part of the, uh, the package. But if you don't, then you probably have to buy it or upgrade to the Live 9 Suite. Both are um, highly recommended. So anyway, you're gonna come inside of here. This is after you've installed the AOP, and if you need to know how to do that, I've got that on my blog too, just do a quick search. Um, and then you come into Max for Live Audio Effects, because it's an audio effect, Convolution Reverb, great. And then there's this folder called R IRs here. And you can do this two ways now. Um, I've got this chamber folder here with a bunch of IRs inside of it. What I can do is copy all of those and drop it inside of the already folder, uh, inside of this folder called ambience uh, or chambers and large rooms and copy it in there. And that will show up in the sub menu for the chambers and large rooms, okay? Or if we wanted to have maybe a, a new folder called spaces because there isn't, uh, there's bigger spaces, but maybe these spaces are a little different, I could just click in here, make sure everything looks good, and then click and drag uh, just this folder right in here. And now I'll have this in my main menu, and then I'll have the IRs inside of it, and that will, that will work as well. So if we come back into Ableton, and we can see here now my spaces is here, and also my, uh, if I come into the chambers, and come in, I will find the M7 right here. So everything is looking so great. Everything is ready to go. All of these really unique, really high quality reverb sounds just ready, just ready for you. And uh, I just wanted to show you how to make it nice and super easy. If you don't want to get into that, you can come into the uh, Max for Live Convolution Reverb right here. And once that um, is dropped in here, you open up your files and you can actually just drag and drop say this and you just select them both and drag them right into here which is really great uh, that's really simple you can also drag and drop into the pro version as well i just wanted to show you this uh this smaller uh, lighter version if that's what you wanted to use another thing too is inside of the irs folder here you can't have folders inside of folders so uh, it needs to go straight to your irs in here this folder isn't IRs inside of it. You can't do that. I actually, when I was trying to set it up, I had the whole M7 folder here with then all of the subfolders inside of it, and that just won't work with the menu. So do it the way I showed you in the beginning, 
and uh, go ahead and download all of those that you can and just start using them and bask in the gloriousness of the convolution reverb. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.